This will uh, be a short recording about the Aquacraft Mini Alligator uh, Tours airboat uh, and a conversion to the uh, brushless motor. I basically uh, arbitrarily used a, a Dynam motor, uh, 1100 kV, uh, also one of the three blade props and trimmed off about uh, one and an eighth inch of the ends of the uh, this particular prop. It's got a 25 uh, amp ESC uh, and an orange uh, little plastic box receiver on the 2.4 gigahertz uh, and a GEMS 1000 milliamp 11.1 uh, LiPo, all of which fits down into the original compartment uh, as you can see without any real issue. Uh, got some action figures from a family, what's called a family pack at uh, Walmart and uh, in keeping with uh, water safety uh, for my grandkids when they see this, uh, painted uh, the man's uh, vest uh, green as a life jacket and painted the, uh, the girl's what was supposed to be a shirt, uh, painted uh, her with a little orange uh, life vest. Uh, this fits on as it did and I also moved the 3.4 gig antenna so that there's uh, nothing coming up through the uh, floor of the deck that the uh, man and the woman are sitting on. Took a little gray paint and uh, kind of painted up some of the rails just to give a color transition and took a coffee stirrer and created another uh, control stick on the right side uh, for the action figure. By going uh, with 2.4 gig um, I just allowed me to use the uh, DX6i and um, I just placed the uh, elevators on the right stick aileron side and of course uh, the left, <coughs> left throttle uh, did not change. In order to get as much uh, prop distance out of the cage area that I could, I took and moved the outside edge of the cage uh, to the rail on the side of the boat. I took and uh, plugged the, um, you probably can't see this, but just took some hot glue and plugged the original um, screw holes, uh, ran the wire. Uh, for the out of the ESC to the motor out of the back side and I extended those uh, wires um, had some uh, plastic uh, pieces of uh, Venetian blind and used that to raise um, this part of the frame since uh, the deck um, brought the entire frame up added a couple of um, small black soda straws so I could uh, stick in my flags, South Carolina flag and a little diver flag just for effect and this over here is an extension of the wire for the antenna on the 2.4 gig. I just felt better about getting the um, antenna to the outside. And if you look real close you can actually see a glow coming from the receiver um, that's laying down in the box. Uh, I did notice that there were a couple of places uh, that needed some additional hot glue just for waterproofing. Uh, it's just, it looked to me like water could get in there, so I went ahead and ran a, a bead of water there. My action figures are, are Velcroed in, so I can take them out at any time. Um, that's about it. Um, had to raise the uh, basic cage up to the side of the rail, which also meant that I had to. Um, add some uh, sections of plastic back here so I could get this brace here that uh, the rudder mounts to get it up in the air um, but basically for mounting the motor um, everything was taken out and there was uh, no problem with using the four uh, screws that come with these typically come with these motors where you normally have the X brace that goes to your motor mount on your firewall I just used those same four screws to go through the back of the existing motor mount. I hope you can see that. 
and um, there was a, a U-shaped black piece of plastic that was back here holding the longer brushed motor. Uh, I just simply left that off. But um, basically used everything that I had before uh, and of course with a little bit longer uh, screws um, because of the depth that it had to go into the, um, the boat deck. And that's it. Mini alligator tour boat with a uh, brushless uh, conversion. Uh, actually it only uh, took a couple hours. Thank you.